uh, people that have inspired us as well. Yeah. All right, I'm talking on camera now. You guys didn't know this before this interview, but I've walked all around this whole complete place. I've checked out all the Jeeps, and my audience knows I know Jeeps. And you are my favorite Jeep of the event. Wow. So I'd like to congratulate you. Thank you very much. Wow, I appreciate that. And I think my um, audience will feel the same way. Awesome. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, great that you're here. Hello, I'm John Vandergrift. Uh, I'm a four-wheeler. I'm the vice president of the Timber Tamers and the secretary of the of Region One of the Pacific Northwest Four-Wheel Drive Association. Uh, the mission that we have really is family-friendly four-wheeling and trying to get new people who are new to four-wheeling up and to speed with what they're doing and try to move them basically from fear to fun. Hello, my name is Michael Simmerly. I'm here on behalf of Mission 22, and what's the statement for Mission 22? Okay, uh, Mission 22 is to let you guys aware to put uh, veterans awareness for PTSD for veterans and family who's having to deal with PTSD. Um, this Mission 22 is supposed to involve uh, to provide help to the veterans and to the families that are needing help for PTSD. Um, 22 is the mission and that's how many veterans that commit suicide a day and the part of the mission for mission 22 is to ensure that we're going to try and reduce those numbers down to zero that's the ultimate mission and whatever we can do to provide any services or aid to any veterans or families out there to have any help whatsoever then this is what we're here for I'm Steve from uh, Mule Expedition Outfitters and we're here in Carnation, Washington for the JeepCast All Jeep Show. Uh, this is my Jeep guy here in the background here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mule Expedition Outfitters, we are full retail, we have service-based full-time full technicians and we can literally build a vehicle from the ground up to travel around the world. Uh, located in, just outside of Oregon, or sorry, just outside of Portland, Oregon and uh, Preston, Washington. If you're planning on heading down to Overland Expo uh, end of August in Colorado, stop by our booth and check out our 80 Series project vehicle. Uh, we've taken a 1992 Toyota Land Cruiser 80 Series, cut it in half, boxed in the back, and installed a MITS alloy flatbed tray and camping in the back. It's a brand new product we're bringing in from Australia, uh, designed for all the popular truck platforms, the Jeep Gladiator, Toyota Tacoma, Tundra, and full size, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because we've cut an 80 series in half just to display the new product. Hey everybody, Tech Tim here from Northridge 4x4 and we're at the Northwest Jeep Cast All Jeep Show and we're here with the Waypoint Overland TV. And what a beautiful day for a show like this. We've got our giveaway Gladiator, our giveaway Wrangler, and we just picked up a 2021 Bronco that we'll be building up. So definitely check out that Waypoint Overland and then head on over to the Northridge 4x4 YouTube channel where you can check me out showing off all the cool stuff we carry at Northridge 4x4 and we'll also show you the builds that we have going on. A little bit of gas. Hey, I'm uh, Todd Landstad. We're at the 2021 Northwest Jeep Cast All Jeep Show out in Carnation, Washington. Uh, lots of great Jeeps around, and ours is a 1951 CJ3A that we restored over the last two years or so. I'm really happy with it. So I'll, I'll give you a, a look at the Jeep. We've had it for about two years or so. 
We took it from uh, kind of a bag of parts. Uh, motor was not working, it was seized. Uh, the intake and exhaust valves were kind of crammed into the blocks. We had to pry them apart. Um, took the whole thing down to the nuts, bolts, washers. Spent months on a wire wheel cleaning it off and then bringing it back to life. And happily, it runs really nicely. Um, being that it's 51, we wanted to keep most of the parts and kind of keep it original. So the whole body is original except for the hood. Uh, we had to replace the hood because it didn't exist when we got it. Um, we went with a gray color that's sort of similar uh, to the 1950s, but we wanted to do a contrast. So we've got uh, pre-1979 Caterpillar yellow tires, uh, wheels uh, that we went with because it's a kind of a nod to being a uh, street legal tractor. Uh, this thing smells and sounds like a tractor when you drive it. Um, we had about 150 holes in the body that we welded over about three or four months. Uh, plug welded and then grinded down and uh, built a paint shop in my garage to paint it. Uh, so that everything was done inside our garage. Um, uh, recently, we've modernized it and added uh, front disc brakes to bring it into the 21st century so we can actually stop. So that's, that's a positive. We hit about 45 miles an hour on flats and we've actually hit about 54 miles an hour downhill with a tailwind. Uh, that's about as fast as we can go uh, with the three speed. It's the Go Devil engine if you're familiar with these cars. It's an L134, about 60 horsepower, uh, so there's not a whole lot to it. But we also have an overdrive added so we can get a little bit extra speed, about five or seven miles an hour over top speed of 45. So that's some of the, the big basics. Um, yeah, and we tried, some things are not original. Um, you know, a couple of things like the bumper, the air filter, but we really tried to stay pretty stock to the whole thing. And I think one of the best things I love about it, I've been showing people all day, is the fact that it takes only a couple of seconds to go into uh, fantastic driving mode with the windshield down. Uh, we love uh, cruising around with this uh, down and just being being out there in the wind. It's a little bit crazy, but uh, super fun fun to drive. It sounds fantastic. It smells a little bit of exhaust, uh, but we love that uh, as well. Hey, this is my daughter Lindsay. She helped uh, with a bunch of the build. You and I built or uh, put the brakes in together, yeah. um, formed the brake lines. Uh, uh, so that was super fun. Uh, what else did I forget about it was, this? One of the things that we did uh, once the, we, the car was mostly finished and we painted it and everything is there was actually a calendar contest that we decided to drive up quite near here to take pictures of. And so we actually made it into the month of May. Oh, sorry. Um, part of the calendar contest. And so we're kind of proud of that as kind of it shows uh, it was right when we finished, so we just made it in in time. And so that's probably something that we're pretty proud of getting into. A couple of things that we've done um, is actually use around 15 parts of hockey pucks um, during the uh, Jeep construction. We have hockey pucks right up here as uh, where the, it rests on the foot. We also, uh, part of the um, how you mount uh, it on the frame. We use hockey pucks to space it, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's parts on seats and there's uh, that hold it into place. And so it's kind of fun that we've used something that we just had to create it how it is now. Uh, one of the things that we want, we added that was sort of a personal touch is uh, the hood blocks, the um, steering wheel uh, logo uh, for Willie's Overland, and I created an instrument panel all out of uh, hickory, um, stained it, and so we've got kind of a common theme and we've done some other projects with that type of material before, so it was fun to bring the woodworking part into a uh, primarily metal uh, kind of project. So that was super fun and, and we love that touch to it. And one of our friends uh, lasered the logo for Willie's Overland, the original manufacturer, into the uh, steering wheel column, so uh, that's super nice touch. So those are the main things that we think uh, of when we've uh, restored this Jeep. Uh, we've learned so much from the internet. All the other people that have created videos and, and instructions, um, that's helped us a lot because a 71 year old vehicle, um, not that easy to find instructions for. So we love the fact that there's enthusiasts out there and hopefully ours can in inspire uh, people that have inspired us as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm talking on camera now. You guys didn't know this before this interview. 
but I've walked all around this whole complete place. I've checked out all the Jeeps, and my audience knows I know Jeeps. And you are my favorite Jeep of the event. Wow. So I'd like to congratulate you. Thank you very much. Wow, I appreciate that. And I think my um, audience will feel the same way. Awesome. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, great that you're here. Yeah, right. I'm boarding Baja. Where are you? Uh, I'm boarding. I'm picking my game. I'm picking up.